Hey everybody, Brian here, about to go and talk to Avenge Sevenfold to see what it's like to knock Eminem out of the charts and to find out once and for all if those guys are vampires. The first thing we have to talk about, and it was making headlines up here big time, Nightmare, of course, debuted at number one. You slayed Eminem. Was that like a surprising thing for you guys? What was your reaction like? I wouldn't say that we slayed him because he, uh, he was right back on top the next week, I think. But that's a special feat for a metal album in 2010. Absolutely. It was just a testament to our fans. Do you guys think there's any potential for that popular music? Can it just opens up doorways for... For, uh, for, you know, metal music to get back on top or hard rock, easy rock, whatever it is, to kind of get back on top and, and get back to the listener, you know? How much of Rev sort of got put into this album? You know, we had the music all written out with him. He was, uh, he had his uh, stamp of approval on every single song musically. And the only thing that really changed after his passing was the lyrics. Um, they, be they became, uh, you know, obviously about losing your brother and and a, and a tribute uh, to him, kind of, you know, our our way of continuing his legacy. Something that I wanted to clear up, clear up a rumor with you guys. Finally, with I know there's some dark imagery, <laughs> the bats, the spooky names. Cleared up once and for all. Are you guys vampires? Uh, I, I definitely am more of a werewolf myself. Yeah, um, no, I'm an Edward guy, personally. <laughs> That's the way you have to do, because you, you got to milk that and cash in on this Twilight craze. Yeah. yeah. Guys, thank you very much for hanging out. I know you got to go play a show.